All right, it's Mark Weens here. I just want to say a big thank you for asking all of your questions on the travel and food video. Had a lot of questions and all really good questions. And so I'm going to do my best to answer your questions right now. So there were a ton of questions with regards to finances, how I can support uh, traveling and eating around the world, um, and also a bunch of questions about keeping fit, and also a bunch of questions with regards to travel and food research, like um, how do you find places to eat? Those big questions, I am going to take and make full videos out of them. But so right now I'm just going to take some of the smaller questions and gonna fire away and try to answer them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my alarm clock or my stopwatch rather. I think I'm gonna set it, let it roll for five minutes. So let's do five minutes real fast and see how this goes. The first question, did you practice that face because it's awesome? <laughs> That's an awesome question. Thank you so much for asking. Well, I think it's, it's kind of a natural face, um, kind of the face I have always made when I eat something extremely delicious. Um, so I guess the way I practice it is by eating lots of delicious food. And I, that I have been doing pretty much my entire life. Okay, Naya asks, when the person behind the camera records you eating and it's only you and your food on the table, when do they eat? Okay, also a bunch of people asked who is, who is filming? Um, my wife, Ying, she is the, the main filmer. Most of the time, it, it actually all depends on Ying. Sometimes she's very hungry and sometimes she's not so hungry. So when she's extremely hungry, yeah, I, I sometimes just let her eat before we film. Uh, but if she's not that hungry, normally we'll film before she eats. But it just all depends on the situation and how hungry she is. When she needs, when she's really hungry, she has to eat immediately. I've, I've learned. Okay, so Bobby asks, in order to fully experience travel and food outside the U.S., what mental changes did you make other than worrying so much about hygiene? It's a really good question. I think I'm, I'm propelled mostly by my hunger to, to explore and to taste new and new dishes that are new to me. So as for making mental ch changes, I think it's, it's, it's about keeping an open mind. I guess I really keep an open mind, um, keep flexible and just a willingness. I, I think it's just a willingness to try and sample new things that you have never considered trying or, or have never seen before. Abdullah asks, how old are you? Okay, I'm 27 years old, born February 26, 1986. Have you ever considered becoming vegetarian? I guess the short answer would be no. But that being said, I do love vegetarian food. Um, I would gladly eat vegetarian meals. I love vegetables and fruit, but I also love meat and I also love fish and seafood. Sachin asks, where would you say is the most difficult or impossible to get vegetarian food and what can be done in that situ situation, especially if you don't know the language? Um, anyone have a good answer for this one? I, this is a really tough question because I don't actively search out vegetarian food, but I, I would imagine that Lots of places in Southeast Asia, um, but even in Thailand, it can be difficult to search for vegetarian food, uh, mainly because they, even in dishes that are considered vegetarian, there's often like some meat stock sauces made from seafood or meat. So that can, it, that's tough. Wenji asks, what inspired you to become a travel and food blogger? It all stemmed from my passion for eating and for food, which I, I've, been, I've been a lover of food my entire life. And as for blogging, I, I just started blogging about six years ago. I had no idea what I was doing, um, and, I turned, and I, just by chance, it turned out that I loved it. So then it, it was just combining the two. Katie asks, you're so passionate about different dishes wherever you go. You seem to love everything, but have you ever had anything on your travels that you really didn't like? Okay, there were a bunch of there were a bunch of questions about like food that I, I don't like. And really, really, I like almost everything, but I really don't like things that are too fatty, like blatant big chunks of fat like that. That I don't like. And one thing that really I do remember this one time I think I think I was in India actually, and I ordered this Chinese Chinese Oh no. There went the Okay, let me finish this question. 
Um, I ordered this Chinese dish and it was basically like boiled noodles topped with ketchup. That was pretty terrible. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to continue this video on to a part two, uh, but before I end this video, I just had a quick question for you. I got a couple of comments um, asking if I would do some vlogging. I don't know, what do you think about vlogging? Would you be interested in watching some vlogs? And what do you think I should include if I start doing some vlogging? Would it just be like a, a daily roundup of food and activities and travel? Uh, let me know in the comments below. And this answering, que answering your questions will continue in part two.